If you are a bit of a collector like me of all things gaming, then you must know that having a collection of consoles has its pros and cons. Okay, who am I kidding? It's mostly just pros, but let's be practical. Are you ever going to dust off that age-old PlayStation 1 or maybe the NES and relive the glory days? This is where the modern-day handhelds are coming into play. You just turn the console on and BAM! Over 3,000 plus games, from classic retros to almost new age ones, just select and play what you like. In other words, it offers total convenience. But the market is filled with hundreds of options, and to be honest, most of them are just Chinese knockoffs with poor build quality that offer little to no support. So how do we decide what's the best one to get? This is where we come in. We have curated a list of budget-friendly handhelds just for you that are easy on the pocket and bound to get you nostalgic. Of course, we're diving into our list of top 10 handhelds under 100 USD that will blow your mind. Each device on this list is a contender for your go-to travel gaming companion, whether you're after the charm of retro gaming or the thrill of modern titles. So let's get into some of the top handhelds under budget that will sweep you off your feet. MiU Mini Plus. The MiU Mini Plus stands out as a compact and reliable option for retro gaming. Its focus on classic emulation, combined with a user-friendly design and quality screen, makes it a valuable addition for those interested in revisiting classic games. The device is capable of playing most non-DualShock PlayStation 1 games efficiently, including titles like Tekken 3, Metal Gear Solid, Pokemon Emerald, Charm by Moon, Retro Zone, among many more. However, it struggles with newer, more demanding games. It is offered at an affordable price point, around $79, US which is a big relief for many of us. MiU Mini Plus comes with a simple, functional design with a focus on ease of use and portability. It's available in colors, including a retro beige, adding to its nostalgic appeal. The build quality is also solid, which promises durability for regular use. Coming to the operating system, it operates on a Linux-based system and is powered by an ARM Cortex-A7 dual-core 1.2 GHz processor suitable for the emulation of older games. Equipped with a 3.5-inch IPS screen, you get a clear and vibrant display quality with this one, which also helps enhance the gaming experience for classic titles. If you are concerned about the battery and connectivity, don't worry. It features a 3.7V 3000mAh removable battery, providing substantial playtime. The device also includes Wi-Fi connectivity and supports microSD cards up to 128GB for storage expansion. Overall, the MiU Mini Plus excels in playing a wide range of 2D games from various classic consoles. The button layout and D-pad are designed for comfortable and responsive gameplay. The device can play games from systems with a 4 to 3 aspect ratio effectively, but it may have limitations with vertical shooters due to screen size. Anbernic RG35XXH On the Anbernic RG35XXH, you can play kick-ass games like Super Mario 3, Legend of Zelda, Dr. Mario, Super Nintendo, Super Mario World, Castlevania Area of Sorrow, Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Hyperstone Heist, Xeno Crisis, Sengoku 3, among many more. What's best is that you get it at just $70. Coming to the design and quality, RG35XXH sports a compact and lightweight design, measuring 5.7 x 2.7 x 0.6 inches and weighing 180 G. It's available in transparent white, purple, and black, appealing to various tastes. The build quality feels solid, ensuring durability for regular gaming sessions. The device runs on a Linux-based operating system, it's user-friendly and straightforward, making it easy to navigate and play games. Powered by an H700 quad-core ARM Cortex A53 CPU at 1.5 GHz and a dual-core G31 MP2 GPU, it balances performance and power efficiency well. The 3.5-inch IPS display with a 640x480 resolution enhances the retro gaming experience, offering clear and vivid visuals. This one comes with a 3300mAh Li polymer battery, providing ample playtime. 
Connectivity options like Wi-Fi 5, Bluetooth 4.0, and HDMI output are also convenient for various gaming setups. Speaking of emulation performance, it goes quite well with classic 8-bit and 16-bit systems. Games on more advanced systems like the PS1 and Dreamcast run smoother thanks to the upgraded processor, though some titles might experience minor FPS drops. PSP emulation is adequate for less demanding games, but don't expect flawless performance on more intensive titles. All in all, our G35XXH is a solid choice for those looking for a portable, horizontal-oriented retro gaming console. It strikes a good balance between performance and price, making it a worthy consideration for retro gaming fans. R36S R36S is another affordable handheld emulator that can play top games like Crash Bandicoot, 2 Cortex Strikes Back, Tekken 3, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, Need for Speed 3, Hot Pursuit, Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories, Tekken Dark Resurrection, among many others. And the best part is that we can get it at $50, making it super accessible for those looking to dive into retro gaming without a hefty investment. Coming to its portable design and quality, it comes with dimensions of about 5.7 x 2.7 x 0.6 inches and a weight of roughly 0.42 lbs. Feels robust, yet lightweight in hand. Available in solid white, transparent black, and transparent purple, it has a pleasing aesthetic. The build quality seems sturdy, and the device features two joysticks and a removable battery, enhancing both usability and portability. It runs on Arc OS, a user-friendly Linux-based operating system. From my hands-on experience, navigating through the system and game lists was smooth and intuitive, without any noticeable lag or crashes. The device is powered by an RK3326 CPU and Mali G31 GPU, paired with one GB DDR3L RAM. This setup is sufficient for the kind of retro games it's designed for. The 3.5 IPS display, boasting a 640x480 resolution, is a highlight. It renders games with impressive clarity and vibrant colors, significantly enhancing the retro gaming experience. The battery life has been adequate for extended gaming sessions, and the fact that it's replaceable is a huge plus. Ensures the device's longevity. It utilizes a 3.7 volt 3200 mAh lithium battery, type 804066. The controls, including the D-pad, buttons, and analog sticks are slightly stiffer than other devices I've used, but they are effective and responsive. The inset analog sticks are particularly well designed, ensuring the device's compactness. I think it comes with both pros and cons. It's nice that it is cost-effective and provides a solid performance for PS1-era games. It also comes with a vibrant display, comfortable and lightweight design, user-friendly OS, and preloaded games. However, control stiffness might not suit all, loud back buttons, and limited portability due to size. Trim UI Smart Pro Priced at $79.99, Trim UI Smart Pro positions itself as an affordable option in the retro handheld game console market. It's a price point that catches the eye, especially for budget-conscious retro gaming enthusiasts. It offers a top-level game capability. In terms of performance, the Trim UI Smart Pro does a commendable job with Nintendo NES, Famicom, and Super Nintendo Super Famicom games. Titles like Super Mario Bros. and Super Mario Kart run smoothly, which is impressive. However, it struggles with Nintendo 64 games, with notable performance issues in titles like Perfect Dark and The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Surprisingly, it handles Sony PlayStation Portable games relatively well, though not without occasional frame rate drops. The device takes design cues from the PlayStation Vita, featuring a sleek and compact build. It feels good in the hands, though the small size of the face buttons might be an issue for some users. The LED lights around the joysticks add a nice aesthetic touch, and the overall build quality seems sturdy and well-crafted for the price. Running on a lightweight operating system, the Trim UI Smart Pro's user interface is straightforward with easy navigation. The console is equipped with an all-winner A133 Plus processor, which seems sufficient for the targeted emulation. The 5-inch IPS display with a 720p resolution provides sharp and vibrant visuals, making the gaming experience quite enjoyable. 
The 5000 mAh battery is a significant plus, offering a decent amount of playtime, which is crucial for handheld devices. My experience with the device across various emulators was mostly positive. The NES, Famicom, and Super Nintendo Super Famicom games ran without a hitch. PSP titles were playable, although not perfectly. Nintendo 64 emulation was a bit hit and miss, with some games struggling to maintain consistent performance. Nintendo DS games were playable, but the lack of a touchscreen limited the functionality. There are some control issues, especially with joysticks and triggers, limited customization options, pre-installed library that includes random games, struggles with Nintendo 64 emulation, lack of touchscreen affects, DS game functionality. While there are limitations, particularly with Nintendo 64 and DS games, its performance in other areas is quite impressive. It's a solid choice for those entering the world of retro handheld gaming or looking for an affordable option to enjoy classic titles. Kitty Q36. The Q36 Mini is priced between $60 to $70 on several platforms, and this tiny device manages to play a surprising range of games, from Crash Bandicoot, Pepsi Man to Temple Run and Crash Team Racing. This device handles classics pretty well. This device is incredibly compact and lightweight. It's so small that it can easily fit into that tiny pocket above your jeans right pocket. Its plastic shell, available in red or yellow, is sturdy yet light. The design, reminiscent of the GBA, is charming, though its miniature size can make handling and viewing a bit challenging. The build quality, considering its size and price, is surprisingly good. The device runs on Funky OS, a simple Linux-based system. This operating system enhances the user experience by keeping things uncomplicated, which is crucial for such a small device. Inside, the device is powered by a Kwanzaa V3S ARM Cortex-A7 CPU, clocked at 1.2 GHz. This chipset is adequate for the range of games it can play. The screen, however, is a mere 1.5 inches, which, while bright and clear, can be a strain to view, especially for games with small text or detailed graphics. The tiny, dark, gray buttons, including a D-pad, face button, start select, and shoulder buttons, are responsive and function well. However, their small size and close proximity can make gameplay challenging, especially for those with larger hands. It boasts a 1000 mAh battery, offering about 4 hours of playtime and a 1 watt speaker. The battery life is quite good for its size, but the speaker quality is mediocre. Unfortunately, there is no headphone jack, limiting audio options to the built-in speaker. The only drawbacks I can think of are the small screen and buttons which can be quite challenging for gameplay and viewing, limited color options, no headphone jack and speaker quality that is absolutely average. But regardless, it is perfect for short gaming sessions and impressing fellow retro gaming enthusiasts with its sheer tininess and range of playable titles. While not ideal for prolonged gaming due to its size, it's a fun, cute addition to any retro gamer's collection. RG300X. The Onburnic RG300X is priced at $89.99, which feels quite alright considering its features and capabilities. It can emulate a variety of classic consoles, including the PlayStation 1, although it struggles with PlayStation 1 titles. It handles systems like CPS, Neo Geo, Game Boy, Famicom, Super Famicom, Sega, SNES, and NES quite well. However, don't expect it to run more advanced systems like the Dreamcast or DS. Some games that are considered to be among the best include Space Invaders, Asteroids, Battlezone, Missile Command, Pac-Man, Centipede, Defender, Donkey Kong, Frogger, and Galaga. The RG300X, with its Game Boy Micro aesthetic, is sleek and portable. Its design is reminiscent of the RG351P, albeit much larger than the Game Boy Micro. The device is made from a glossy plastic that is a fingerprint magnet, and it's available in a deep red color. Ergonomically, it's fairly comfortable for extended play, although the sharp corners can be a bit uncomfortable for the fingers. The build quality is decent, but doesn't feel as premium as some of Ambernick's other models. The firmware of the RG300X is pretty basic and somewhat outdated. The user interface lacks the modernity and sophistication you might expect from a $90 handheld. 
This simplicity in the operating system might be off-putting to some users, especially those accustomed to more contemporary interfaces. The device is also powered by a 1 GHz dual-core JZ4770 chip, which is a bit dated by current standards. The 3 IPS display has a resolution of 640x480, which is adequate but not particularly impressive. The screen size and quality are okay for retro gaming, but may feel limiting compared to larger, sharper displays on other devices. The battery life is decent, providing enough power for several hours of gaming. It comes with a 2500 mAh battery, HDMI out, a 3.5 mm headphone port, USB-C for charging, and dual USB-C ports for other functionalities. Overall, the RG300X is an average handheld that doesn't quite live up to the expectations set by its price tag, but still, it's a win considering it fits under $100. It's suitable for those who are fans of the Game Boy Micro aesthetic and are looking for a device to play older console games. However, when considering value for money and overall performance, there are other handhelds in the market, including some from Anbernic itself, that offer more features and better performance at a similar or slightly higher price point. RGB30 Next up, we have the RGB30, which is priced at $90 on Powkitty's website, which is competitive for a device with its specifications. Considering the features it offers, this price seems to be on par with similar handhelds in the market, though there are always cheaper or more expensive alternatives depending on what you're looking for. Powered by the Rockchip RK3566 and equipped with 1 GB of RAM, the RGB30 performs well with various retro games. It smoothly runs 8-bit and 16-bit games and handles systems up to the PlayStation effectively. However, it's not the best choice for more demanding platforms like the Dreamcast or N64. This handheld has one most distinctive feature, which is its 4-inch square screen with a 720x720 720 resolution, which is bright and clear. The device's boxy design makes it stand out, and although it's pocketable, its square shape can feel a bit awkward to carry around. The buttons are larger than those on many other devices and offer a good user experience, although the plastic grips might accumulate dirt over time. It comes with Gel OS out of the box, a common OS in Powkitty devices, offering a decent user experience. The OS is functional and supports Wi-Fi, which is a plus. However, it does have a long boot time, which can be a minor inconvenience. An alternative is ArcOS, which provides a similar experience with some differences in setup and use. In hand, the RGB30 is comfortable, thanks to the curves on the sides. The face buttons and D-pad are responsive and provide a pleasant gaming experience. The shoulder buttons are well-placed and easy to use. My main concern is the texture of the plastic grips and potential dirt accumulation over time. The gaming performance is solid for the device's specifications. It handles a wide range of retro games very well, with the screen size and aspect ratio adding a unique dimension to the gaming experience. The device might not be the best choice for stretched 16.9 content, but for square and vertical games, it's excellent. However, in the same price range, there are several other RK35566 handhelds, like the RG353PS, RG353VS, and X55. A notable competitor is the Retroid Pocket RP2S, which offers more power and versatility, but at a slightly higher price when shipping and additional features are considered. All in all, the RGB38 is a solid choice for those who are drawn to its unique square screen and the gaming experiences it enables. It's particularly appealing for players who focus on 1-1 one -one content or enjoy vertical shooters. While it has its quirks like any device, it stands out in its niche. This handheld gets my recommendation if you're looking for something different in the retro gaming handheld market and are willing to embrace its unique attributes. Powkitty X55. Powkitty X55 is another entrant in the handheld emulator market which also gained some popularity. The Powkitty X55 is priced at $139.99, but you can manage to grab it on sale for $46, $56 on various websites. Classic games like Super Mario Bros., Sonic the Hedgehog, Donkey Kong, and Street Fighter titles can be played effortlessly. 
The device comes equipped with the RK3566 CPU, familiar to anyone who's been following the handheld emulator scene. This chipset is capable, but not cutting edge. It's the same one found in the Ambernic RG353M and the GKD Plus Classic, among others. It's competent for playing up to some GameCube and PS2 titles, but not all. This places the X55 in a mid-range category regarding gaming performance. Now let's talk about the quality and design. The Pow Kitty X55 sports a horizontal console design that's aesthetically pleasing, with a color scheme reminiscent of Anbernic's popular blue hue. Ergonomically, it seems well-designed for comfortable handling. However, it's constructed from plastic, which might detract from the premium feel some users might expect at this price point. Running on Linux, the X55 promises a user-friendly experience for managing a game library. The operating system, based on the available information, seems straightforward and easy to navigate, which is a plus for users who prefer simplicity and convenience in their devices. The X55's heart is the Rockchip RK3566 processor clocked at 1.8 GHz. These internals are respectable but not groundbreaking. The standout feature is its 5.5-inch IPS RGB screen with a 60Hz refresh rate and a resolution of 720x1280, which should offer crisp and vibrant visuals for a variety of games. It boasts a 4000 mAh battery, promising about 4 hours of playtime, and includes features like USB-C fast charging, TV HDMI display, OTG USB, a 3.5mm stereo headset jack, and Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity. Final thoughts, the Pow Kitty X55 seems like a solid choice for someone new to the handheld emulation scene or someone who values design and ergonomics over cutting-edge performance. Its gaming capabilities are sufficient for enjoying a wide range of retro titles, and the large, vivid screen is a significant draw. While the chipset might not be the latest, it should provide a satisfactory experience for most classic games. This device could be ideal for those who prioritize aesthetics and ease of use in their gaming experience. Anbernic RG Arc. Some of the games you can play on the Anbernic RG RC are Sonic Advance 3, Metroid Zero Mission 04, 1942, 10 Pin Bowling, 10 Yard Fight, 1941, Counter Attack, and Virtua Tennis. You can get it on sale for about $79, which is pretty much of a steel deal. The RG ARC is powered by the Rockchip RK3566 CPU, known for its versatility in handling a wide range of retro games. It comfortably plays titles from the Nintendo 64, Nintendo DS, PlayStation 1, PSP, Dreamcast, and importantly, Sega Saturn. However, it's important to note that it might struggle with PS2 and GameCube games. This aligns well with the current emulation capabilities of similar devices on the market. Quality and design-wise, it pays homage to the Sega Saturn, featuring a six-action button setup reminiscent of classic Sega controllers. This nostalgic design is a standout feature, particularly appealing to fans of Sega and 2D fighting games. The device is available in two models, the S and the D, each offering different colorways. The S model operates on Linux, while the D model offers the versatility of dual booting with Android 11 and Linux. This choice gives users the flexibility to enjoy a range of Android apps and games. The Android capability, especially on the D model with its touchscreen, adds a modern touch to the retro gaming experience. The Rockchip RK3566 CPU ensures smooth gameplay for a variety of retro games. Both models come with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capabilities. Bluetooth allows for the use of external controllers, enhancing the gaming experience, especially for multiplayer games. And Bernic RG Arc caters specifically to Sega Saturn enthusiasts and those who love 2D fighting games. In summary, the Ombernic RG Arc is a refreshing and specialized addition to the handheld gaming scene. And that's the end of this video. These devices prove that the joy of gaming isn't confined to high-end consoles or PCs, but can be just as exhilarating and fulfilling in the palm of your hand, and all at a price that's accessible to more gamers than ever before. As we continue to witness advancements in technology, it's clear that the future of handheld gaming is bright, diverse, and endlessly exciting. Whether you're a retro enthusiast, a casual gamer, or a tech-savvy player, 
there's a portable console out there that's perfect for you. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button so you are up to date with all our newest uploads. And hey, drop a comment below. We would love to hear if you have a game in mind that really impressed you with its graphics. And we will see you in the next one.